helps his multiple pools and it is this transparent. Can you see the texture? Can you see the viscosity? Can you see how this soap foams like mad? Okay, I have in here SLS, STPP, caustic soda and soda ash. Okay, and um, I'm going to take from this water what i have in here is five liters of water i'm going to use it to dissolve these four ingredients i have one liter of, of water in there i'm adding another one liter of water in the other container then one liter in this jug then two liters in this bowl now i'm pouring in my sls i will stir it for it to dissolve i know it's not going to dissolve immediately okay but I'll, after stirring it i'm going to keep it aside then continue with the other ingredient okay now um after mixing it i'll keep it aside then i'll bring in one of the waters i will add in the caustic soda into it what i'm adding in here is caustic soda please check the 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 the, the, the screen you're going to see the measurement of each of the ingredients i used okay i'll stir that and keep that aside then dissolve the next chemical which is a uh, stpp i'm going to dissolve this stpp into my into this water then I will stir it very well for it to dissolve okay then i will keep that aside and dissolve the soda ash okay please when you're dissolving your soda ash make sure that you stir it very very well for it to dissolve because soda ash is kind of stubborn if you didn't stir it well it's going to stay like that and be looking at you okay so i'm going to stir it well for it to dissolve then um i will keep it and you know start or getting other ingredients ready so this is um i have in here this is the sls it has dissolved completely not completely do i still have like 10 grains of sls in there but i'll still continue with the production anyway now i'm going to pour the transfer the caustic soda into this other cup this uh, container because i want to use this jug to measure my sulfonic acid so i'll bring in my scale i'm not using scale to measure the sulfonic acid but i want to know what it will give me in grams okay i'm actually using 500 ml half a liter of sulfonic acid then it gave me 450 gram all right so i use 500 ml of fifth of sulfonic acid then i have in here my texapone i'll be using 140 grams of texapone okay you can increase yours to 50 to 150 grams but 140 gram is it's what i'm 140 grams is what i'm using for uh, this 10 12 liters of the this soup this detergent okay it's not soap anyway so um what i will do next i'm going to mix this uh, sulfonic acid and taste upon together okay if you have a container a tight a container with a cover like a ragolis or a plastic bottle just put both of them there then you shake it vigorously until the container becomes hot okay some people say that the 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 reason for doing that is that it helps boost the foaming i didn't see any specific reason no why i'm doing my own no i'm just you know mixing it because this takes up on if you if you add it to water uh, like that it will take time for it to dissolve so being that i'm going to mix it with a um, a liquidify uh, ingredient it will also help to you know uh, lighten the text up on you understand so that is the reason why i'm doing so okay so i'll mix that very well mix it make sure that there is no lump in it makes it very very oh the thing is burning me so I, ha I have to put on my hand glove okay please don't be like me oh i always have a way of working my way through to its chemical i know but you know being that i'm just doing this um uh, sharply sharply i have to you know <laughs> manipulate and work my way through but sometimes you won't have to you will not you know avoid some of the ingredients touching your finger or your palm you get so what i'm going to measure now is my natural soul uh, i'll be using a uh, 90 gram of natural soul that is what i usually use but it's not up to 90 grams so what i have in there is 81 gram okay and you see what i have here it does not it's not up to 90 gram so i'm going to go ahead and use the 81 gram like that okay 
um, what I have in here is five liters of water. I'm going to add in extra one liter. Then the one that will complete it, 12 liters, I'm going to use it to mix my fragrance. Okay. So I have in here the water. I'm pouring in my natural soul and I'll mix it. You know, as uh, so I'm adding gradually, okay, I have somebody here helping me do that. One one thing, uh, uh, one good thing I like about um someone helping you to mix this uh liquid detergent to help mix to help you in this liquid detergent production is because it will help your production easier. Okay, you staring it to be someone staring it to be um uh, as the uh, hand mixer or the machine that is mixing it. Then the person pouring it to be you know the normal or uh, person pouring it okay for you do you understand so it will make it easier for stay, for you to stay but when you are the only one you know you are pouring you are stirring it gets you know you will get tired of mixing sometimes your hand you will ache you and all that but when somebody is helping you to you know either mix or to pour it makes the work you know <laughs> easier so i'm going to mix this very very well until the water becomes um drawy okay you notice that the water is becoming dry not thick anyway it's going to be become dry all right then you continue with the other ingredients like i'm doing what i'm adding in there is my caustic soda okay i'm adding it gradually 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 on everything you can add yours all at once okay but make sure that when you add stir it very very well for complete five minutes when i mean i said five minutes complete five minutes not you stay you stop it no you can you stir it continuously for a good five minutes okay now as i've added the caustic soda the solution has become thicker than it was can you see it has become very very thick do you get so i'll mix it very very well before adding the next um ingredient which is my soda ash okay i'll be adding it gradually like as someone is is he he's here helping me but if you don't have anyone helping you you can pour you know and you pour you stir you pour you stir you pour you stir you get so i'll mix that again very well for five minutes please make sure you mix very well very very well because that is one good thing about this mixture can you see how transparent my 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 own is this is not transparent soap i'm going to make another video at my convenience on transparent um liquid soap or liquid detergent this particular one is multi-purpose multi-purpose but you can see how transparent it is okay so uh the next ingredient is the sulfonic acid and the texapon i mixed together earlier i will add that gradually and stir like i did with others okay please if this is your first time of coming across this channel this is jofia diy you are welcome to this youtube channel if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for always coming back to learn one or two things from me if you have not subscribed to this channel you that is you know you are watching you are if you are a first timer or you are coming back and you have not subscribed please kindly click that subscribe subscribe short button click that subscribe button subscription is free okay you're not paying anything just click on the subscribe button and you are done okay and also don't forget to click the notification bell beside it so that whenever i post a video you'll be able to see it and you know you watch it as usual okay so i'm going to take every part of that ingredients because it has been measured out already so i won't leave anyone in the bowl okay so i'm going to stir again this time around the mixture has become thicker so i'm going to stir stir vigorously i'm going to stir as if i'm using <laughs> a hard mixer you know stir very very well make sure you stir please make sure you stir this is it is one bit of this production stir all right so the next i'm going to add in the the stpp okay and i stay as i add as usual okay please if you found this um any of my video or this particular video interesting and you feel that someone else out there should see this please sh kindly share okay you can leave a comment in the comment section for me if you have any um com uh, if you want to comment this video if you want to comment this uh, channel whatever you have to say be it criticism just drop it in the comment section and i will take out my time to answer you so i'm going to add in 
the SLS. Now, okay, I will add it gradually and I stay. Please, if you don't know the full meaning of the ingredients I've listed and their function, please comment in the comments. I'm going to tell you the full meaning and their functions. All right. So I will mix that. I will, I will keep adding and I'll be stirring. Add, I will stay, add, I will stay. Okay. Don't, don't see that um, it is easier for me because somebody is helping me. No. Um, there is um, a midterm break here for for us uh, for schools, all right. So that is why I have someone helping me. If not, I've, I've been the only one doing this, okay. But I, today I have someone at home to help me do it. So I'm going to mix that very very well, mix it very very well until everything mixes together. And when you are done, you're going to um, leave it for the bubble to clear okay don't 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 mind there is no bubble that the bubble do not fool the bucket mm -mm. no don't okay if you can make this up you make it and tell me you be the one that will thank me forget about there's no bubble in it all right can you see that it's watery but as it, as it stays it's going to become thicker you will see that you know later on when i will show you now i'm done with the production but i have to check the ph which is which i always do for all my production i will check the ph now i've got my ph um ph uh, paper i'm going to cut it into three like i always do i don't just use one like that and my things are costly so <laughs> i'll cut into three i will use one at a time okay so i'm going to dip the ph in the soup okay and i'll keep it another way you can check this ph is by getting a bowl a container then you add uh, just a little amount of water into it okay just like you may use you may do something like uh, a dilution like maybe um uh, uh, three to seven or 30 30 70 okay then you take part of the soup just a little amount of the soup and put inside the water the water in the bowl then you mix it okay you stir everything to mix together all right then you dip the ph pepper in the soup all right just like i'm about to do now i will dip it then i would recheck it read the ph okay so that is it now i think okay so that is it i'm going to um show you the reading it's about uh, 7.8 so, so, sorry 7.5 to 8 okay 7.5 to 8 can you see this is the one i just did now all right this is the one I just did now. Then I'm going to also show you the one I did. This is the one I just did now. Okay, can you see the pH? Please read the pH with me so that I will not say what is not in your mind. Tell me what the pH is. Write it in the comment section for me. Okay, then this is the one I did earlier. Okay, can you see? They're both the same color. All right. Um, one thing again I like checking out my pH for a liquid detergent is that it helps me to know the preservative i'm going to use i don't usually add preservative to my liquid detergent because my customers they always come back every two two months okay if they buy um uh, uh, in large quantity but those buying in small quantity they always come back you know often so i don't always you know have you know keep uh, liquid detergents for that long okay but checking the ph will also help you to know the the type of preservative you should use because every preservative has have a um, have uh, a range that they work better at okay so you can use sodium benzoate sodium benzoate if you, you can use it for a production of um a production that is that, that has a that has a ph 10 you get so let me not go that way let me not digress okay now i've added my color can you see the soap has become a bit thicker right like i said if you keep it the more you see the more thicker it becomes okay it has become a big thicker i've added my color i'll mix it very well and you know i'll package it immediately okay or leave it for the bubble to clear up i'm going to leave it and show you how the bubble has cleared before packaging it all right so that is it for this liquid detergent and you know this is how i make the soup added and i, I, I for every batch i make be it five liters be it 10 liters be it 20 liters be it 100 liters i make about 80 percent profit from this okay but if you don't sell like me you can make 
at least 50 percent profit okay 57 percent profit from this can you see how transparent this is this is not transparent so but this is multiple pools and it is this transparent can you see the texture can you see the viscosity can you see how this soap foams like mad this fo this soap foams it's foams very well and it cuts great can you see you, you have you you saw the ph yourself and you should be able to tell whether it's going to remove that it's going to remove stain it's going to remove you know things like oils and things like that so that is it with this video thank you all for staying with me see you all in the next video bye